feral. The artistic desire to create and make something from nothing. I got a honey Just walking in the city I don't feel anything Least of all, a pity Father was a wolf from alone in the woods Sick of civilized damaged goods My mother was a witch and I'm proud to be Definitely one of the most longest time consuming albums Hellbastard has ever done, you know, and it's been a hell of a process. Jeep was absolutely amazing. He's a very patient guy, and uh, we were quite lucky. You got like all these blokes around, and you know, and, and, and people are doing this, doing that, doing the other, blah blah blah. And he's so laid back, and his work ethic uh, when when we start is really good as well. For all velvet toads and lean hairs ripped, for all badgers culled and foxes ensnared, for all bears on earth to all the underdogs, for all crippled woods in twisted form, by sprawling moss in my mangled crown, by the throne you stool I spit you poison. the studio since the very early 80s and I've never used a click track because I couldn't separate uh, listening to a, listening to a playback of some uh, some music and listening to the, as well as play as well I just could never do it you know too many things going on uh, but we did it this time and it was piss easy and I think <clears throat> we're a tight enough band anyway so I don't think it's added that much but at least you know Everything's tight as it should be, as it would be if we, even if we didn't have click track. We got Pete Salvage on guitar. Um, Pete brings um, a big passion to the band because he, he loves it, really. We get on well, we got a lot in common, we both got troubled pasts, and uh, I think we see eye to eye on that one, but um, <clears throat> without moaning about it all the time, but hey, you, you, you live and learn, 
and you just make the best of what you can get. Uh, we got Nathan on drums. Nathan I met some years ago on a bus. He was he, he was air drumming and I was sat next to him, I'd just finished work and I was tired and my brain hurt. And I thought, how the hell can I stop him from doing this? Anyway, I asked him what he was listening to and he was listening to some metal band that we've been friends since then. And Nathan's a shit hot drummer. He's a good lad, he's got a very good heart. For all badges cold and foxes and snared. Um, and we got Lane on bass, and Lane we met because he engineered the Sons of Bitches EP in 2011, and he did some live work for us, uh, live sound, and he's been a member of the band for quite some time now, and he brings a nice artistic view to the band because he understands music more than most, he understands um, dynamics and effects, he understands the recording process, and he understands a lot of things, so that's good. We've got a techie, Lane's our techie. Having uh, some special guests on, 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 our, on our album is really cool. I wanted to keep it to like people I know and people I've knew in the past, and hence we've done that. Um, uh, you know, we got Andy Wiggins, uh, Ear Droid. Who's, who was with Amoebix for many years. Um, Rob uh, Miller, Rob Amoebix, we, we go back years. Um, the legendary Andy Sneep, who, um, who it was an honour having him do some lead guitar for us as well. It's not every day you can do that. And, I th and, and, and these are people that I don't not only respect, but their influence on, on my own songwriting has been quite immense. I think it's true, you know, there's people that love music and there's people that love music. I'm definitely one of those people who love music.